All right, so Seth and Sis Six discuss how strong Yamamoto is, and apparently this video sucks. So let's see uh, if it does, in fact, suck. Let's get. It. Seth, why do you think Yamamoto is stronger than Ichibe? Uh, cause his sword is stronger than Ichibe. His sword is stronger. Let's see where he goes with this. By a considerable, a lot, probably. Considerably? Huh. And I think, like, even in base, he's stronger than Shunsui and Ukitake, who are fucking insane already. Why do they matter to Yamamoto? Uh, his 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 spiritual pressure is compared to being more like transcendent Aizen than fucking Shunsui, which is like. What does that even mean? It. What? Transcendent I. His 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 spiritual pressure is compared to. Bro, was was six in the background to say like I think Ichiba is strong than them. Yes, it, 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 like it kind of sounds like six is like, no, no, no. I definitely don't believe this man's take. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bruh. Being more like, like all I can, no, mm -hmm. like, like my two cents in, like, honestly, like I, like I think, like, um, he just believes like the whole transcendent argument, which is, it just gets really, really bad, honestly. Oh, it does. No, like I'm talking about, like um, the way he's with the way the way he's going with it, it, like he's using like the whole transcendent thing, which is kind of it's kind of ass in my opinion. Hold up. So wait, let me let me send in Eisen then. Stronger. Yeah, just his just go back pressure is compared to being more like transcendent Eisen than. When is Yamamoto ever compared to Eisen? That has a transcendent statement on his own accounts. When is that ever a thing? The only time Yamamoto's ever referenced directly as transcendent is in the Soul Society. What? Oh, bro. You know, Yamamoto was fighting Shinsui and Jushiro. So they're more compared to transcendent. I. <clears throat> Fuck. <clears throat> I'm still a little under the weather, so don't mind me, but, um. So, bro, Yamamoto fights Shinsui and Jushiro at the same time. Therefore, he's closer to transcendent Aizen. Is that what we're saying? The fuck? Than fucking Shunsui, which is like a retardedly insane statement. Dio noons. Why is a Soul Society retardedly insane statement? What the fuck? No, 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 no noons. On honestly, like the way he's talking about it, like I think this man might actually just have like you know how like um like the majority of the sh like Shinima the Shinigami that beat the the elite third graders, he might actually have that or like um that scaling. He probably thinks that like the people that fight the that fought the elite stern leaders are above Yamamoto. Maybe. No, because if he thinks that, he would have Shunsui above him. So like his argument just falls apart then. No, like he can't no, have, have them above. Him. But like it's really weird. But like 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 I don't know why he's even bringing um Shunsui, like into the matter. But like uh, like other than that. He's bringing him into to it because, like, I think he's r trying to say that Soul Society, um, Soul Society, Yamamoto has this transcendent statement. Therefore, he's closer to transcendent Aizen than Shunsui is. And for some yeah, reason, Shunsui is really impressive. And, like, yeah, that, that should matter somehow. That's all the way from the Soul Society, though. That's literally the only time Yamamoto was ever referenced as transcendent. Like, is there anything in 13 Blade? No. That says transcendent? No. Oh god, that's that's just that's that's even worse. The only time he's ever referenced as transcendent ever is in the Soul Society. And um I haven't checked if in vibes he's referenced as it as well, but uh in souls he's not referenced as that. In uh masked he isn't, unmasked he isn't, thirteen blades he isn't, the rebooted souls he isn't. <laughs> so the only he's not in the anime either besides that one time so it's just like the only time ever he's not in the novels as well so the only times ever he's uh, been referenced as that is in the soul society that's the only time that's ever ever been stated that's a big yikes yeah so i'm like i find this really weird 
Soul Society our characters are impressive now, yo? Is that what we're saying? Chad out here has the scaling, yo? Chad? Chad's insane? Yo? And, uh... But look, look, look at this nigga in chat. Ichibe was beating you, ha's ass. <clears throat> a transcendent Aizen was objectively and confirmed to be able to solo the Zero Division. No, he was not. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that's from. Just because Aizen thinks he can Yo. beat the Zero Yo. Squad, that's in Yo, what? Dude. FKT? Your and I like, doesn't even know how strong they are in actuality because he hasn't been around when they came down. So it's just like, bro, noobs. above Yamamoto, that's all he knows about them. This argument is dog shit. Yo, noobs, it, like, like in before he's trying to use those two statements from uh, Unmasked. <laughs> oh, yikes, bro. Yeah, those two statements where, like I said, yeah, this man, uh, this man looks like uh, a little bit close to a. Uh, the soul, the soul king, Pog It's king? literally so bad once you actually know what, what it's saying, because it's literally like being like, uh, bro, who's a religious freaking guy, uh, Moses, right? It's like saying mm -hmm. Moses scales to God because he's a missionary for him, and he's like, uh, he he's like spreading his word. It's it's basically that, like, <laughs> it it that's not how that works. <laughs> Even before his insane amps he got versus Ichigo. Like, he would have done it, like, walking in there in his, like, base transcendent state. He would have soloed them somehow. Wait, what? Now I have no idea what he's talking about legitimately. Because when Aizen says that, oh, the chrysalis stage is over. <laughs> oh, I, okay. I think he's trying to say that because when Aizen, like, uh... Like, uh, what you say, mullet Aizen? Like, once he's out of the Chrysalis, third fusion Aizen, he's like, uh, oh, the Chrysalis phase is over. I thought I would see the ruin of the Soul Society. Uh, I wouldn't be able to see the fall of the Soul Society with my own eyes, I believe. Bro, I'm pretty sure that. That's so that. weird. That's so weird. Oh, I'm sorry. That, like, that's that the statement he's trying weird. to say. And he's saying that's objective. Very Ew. interesting. Even though the Zero Squad. Bro, it's crazy that the Zero Squad didn't come down for Heisen, but they did for Azashiro. Mm. Mm. If it's objective, I guess Azashiro scales above. Kenpachi scales above. Your scaling chain is broken. Yeah, Damn, shit. Bro, all, <laughs> yo, 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 they all scale above the Soul King, bro. Bro, dead ass, bro. On his, <laughs> bro, Seth on his multi type beat, bro. Base Icing equals the Soul King. Base Icing equals the Soul King. Yo, yo. Shit, man. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, base eyes and we're always shit. And then Yamamoto's more closely compared to the chair super evolved stronger one. What? <laughs> that survived Wait, movies. Based on what? Based on what? <laughs> it's crazy they not even in one panel together, bro. They Aizen oh. and Yamamoto not com not mentioned ever together in the thousand year blood war bro <laughs> they ain't mentioned what? ever <laughs> what <laughs> hold up bro even in can't be your own world aizen and yamamoto aren't referenced even in the same context they're not <laughs> yo, yo, what, where yo, is he getting this yo dudes in, like in, like in before like these guys i like still haven't read like the like the legit translated can't for your own world and they still have like the old one i don't even think it's that because like niggas didn't just randomly write bro yamamoto like oh uh, it's comparable to uh Aizen, or, or some shit like that niggas weren't writing that shit bro i'm like stuff I'm actually just talking like out his ass that ass unless, like unless he's trying to argue that like the whole transcendent statement just like uh you, he, like he's just bringing it back to the transcendent statement, but it still doesn't make any sense. All right, all right, all right. uh, hold up, just just for the boys, hold up. Nigga, I just put any friends, nigga. Hold up, we have a chat for this. Wait a minute, I forgot. Hold up, um, everybody trans, yes. All right, all right.
there's even more. Hold up. Oh, hold up. Just, just real quick, bro. We we recording, but y'all y'all here for it, bro. We gotta get this statement real quick. Yeah, the server always got the statements, but yeah. The Chad Bonkai Ichigo is transcendent, and I'm like, if we're really talking here, right? So what does uh, how does Yamamoto interact with Aizen in that arc? He doesn't. Ichigo blocks his sword. I'm like, I don't know. I'm gonna, yeah, I don't know. You, you know. <laughs> but uh, jokes aside, and this the meme, bro, this is objective aside, dude. Transcendence, uh, for anybody watching, doesn't mean dog shit. Bonkai Ichigo has transcendent power. Uh... Shinsui and Jushiro have transcendent power. Yamamoto and Shikai has transcendent power. Ukiura and Ichigo's fight, uh, Full Hollow Ichigo and Ukiura's fight, transcendent. Literally. Aizen, obviously, transcendent. Yada yada yada. Ichigo can still send some. Ichigo boxes are multiple niggas. So does Kisuke and the Ray guy arc. So like, if we're just using scaling, all of them are transcendent. But let's just talk about niggas with statements, you know. Uh, our boy Kenpachi transcendent right here. Another feat for Kenpachi being transcendent right here. This nigga right here, Yuha can't sense. This nigga. Ichi Zinc. My G. Uh <laughs> you know, um Kinda down bad, bro. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Making these transcendent arguments like uh every arc in Bleach doesn't uh power cliff the last. Like Bashin isn't the strongest villain up till uh, the Soul Society arc. So everything a thousand years ago, blah blah blah, Bashin above the nigga that the Soul Society couldn't beat, Bashin, bro. Dang, Bashin too crazy. He too crazy, bro. He too crazy. Which was already the strongest thing in the story. Uh, what? Who? chair super evolved stronger one that survived mugetsu which was already the strongest thing in the story what the fuck it's not bro mugetsu can't even kill us dying sion grants trash garbage garbage um dick on the floor so like, no I don't know. exaggeration for me, it's just kind of like for me it's just kind of like like i get it right i get ichibei's main power is like his ink hacks my nigga. Let's pull the side by side comparison, dude. Cause I think I'm not gonna lie, bro. Seth being fucking retarded. I'm a I'm I'm not even gonna say I'm a I'ma let this nigga slide. Cause no, you ain't have to answer this question, bro. You ain't have to say all this dumb shit. But look at you. Now we now we gotta bring up the comparison, bro. Now we gotta bring up the comparison. Main thing is ink hacks. Nigga, <laughs> I guess you didn't read the fight. Oh, dang, Seth. Okay. Okay, Seth. Okay. All right, homie. Bonkai. Stolen. Bro, you bastard. Ooh. One shot. Bitch ass, nigga. Fuck up out of here. Now. Yamamoto's dead. Right here. Alright, buddy. Yamamoto's dead. Now let's look what happens to Ichibe. Who was fighting a Yuha that absorbed this man's power. Has regained more power. Because more time has passed. And absorbed even more power on top of that. Because people have died. And then their power for whoever uh, died is also added to Yuha's power. Let's see. Alright. Boom. Smacked. Okay, buddy. Smacked again. Nigga sent flying, bro. Oh, bro. This nigga attacks him, bro. Look at this shit, bro. Boom. Look at all the arrows, bro. 
shot. This nigga just has a fucking scratch right here, bro. Obviously, he's damaged, but nigga. Compare contrast. Cut. The nigga split in half. Compare contrast, bro. Do I need to go on? Man, fuck it. I guess we'll go on. Bro. Fuck it. Oh, fuck yeah, yes, you know? Because well, let's compare the sword, dude, you know? Because you all one shot him with a fucking sword, you know? Like, this nigga, like, has his sword, he summons a bow, and then the nigga, nigga foxes him, you know? Fuck it. All right, bro. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. These niggas are clashing. Yamamoto's fucking dead already, dude. He's on the floor. Boom. Nigga, this nigga is cutting names now, bro. Half your power. What happens next? Bitched. Smacked up. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Look at this man, bro. This man, you on his knees. All right, bro. I, I, I think that's, I think that's more than enough, bro. This nigga's on his fucking knees. But like, I feel as though. Come on, bro. It's kind of more like a discussion. Like, could his ink even like? get on Yamamoto's actual body I think is like something I think about and like I'm not gonna say like objectively or like I, w I wouldn't even say in a debate I would take the stance but like just using like my fucking like rational monkey brain it just seems Your like Yamamoto's stronger brain. so that's, that's why you're saying you have a monkey brain because that is a fucking monkey take because it's retarded Ichibay W. Yo, I am sixth winning right now, bro. Sixth winning right now, bro. Oh, oh shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> fuck. All right, we're recording. We're we're recording again. Okay, we're back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Y'all can see the stream, right? Yeah. All right. Cool. Base eyes and over Yamamoto, by the way. You're fucking. Yeah, base size and above Yamamoto. That's that's why I did two X. Uh, I, I I just can't take this at one X speed, bro. It has to be two X. Uh. -uh. On crack. <laughs> You're on crack. I'm just saying, bro. You're still on crack. I look I look through that shit. That shit makes so much sense. No, it doesn't. You're on crack. But it, it honestly does. Bro. No, it doesn't, bro. Oh my god. Not base Island, bro. Even against Yamamoto, he used Shikai. Excuse me. Even against Yamamoto, he used Shikai. Uh, I was I was talking. That's not what I meant. Oh, I mean, Bubble, dude, when Bubble says that, bro, he's saying without even cheat, he's saying like, dude, one of his arguments for Aizen was that the second he was fucking born, he was stronger than Yamamoto. Like, no joke. I'm not joking. Ugh. <laughs> this is why you don't take Bubble seriously, dude. This is why you don't take Bubble seriously. I was thinking of fucking, um, when I said that, just like, without the Hogoku, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I mean, like, it's possible, but I just, it's probably just not. But no, I, I, it's, a, it's a good argument. It's a good argument. Sway just said it's a good argument. Hold up, bro. Are we are we reading the same series, dude? Hold up, bro. Hold up. Hold up, bro. Cause maybe my girl needs to slap my ass and call me Sally, but I don't think that's in the fuck. I don't think it's the exact fucking opposite, my jeez. Hold up. Okay. So about to end Seth's career? Crazy. All right, Eisen. Where do you have your statement? No, Eisen Sama. Oh. I think it's after. Uh, no, it, it's it's right. It should be right here. Okay. You're the only captain left that has any real abilities. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. All right, cool. Um, your region jock is the ultimate Zompok. So, of that, there can be no doubt. If we fought toe to toe, you'd probably win. But when all other powers are abandoned, to strengthen a single power, even the ultimate can be opposed. And this is wonderfice wonderwise bro 
He also states in the anime that Wonder Weiss is the perfect weapon, my nigga. And Yamamoto kills Wonder Weiss. Nigga up front kills the nigga. If, if, if y'all forgot. Not only does Aizen say that, right? He also, he also calls Wonder Weiss the perfect weapon. And then want to know what Yamamoto does to him? I want to know what he does to him. And this right here. Now, l let's go back a little bit. Let's go back a little bit. Because it really does seem that we're not seeing the same series here, bro. Let's look at how insane fucking Yamamoto is, bro. Let's see how insane this motherfucker is. All right. So let, let's see what he says. So you set this up while your men were being slain. How cunning of you. Call me what you want. You will perish with me in this burning hell. So Yamamoto thinks he and Aizen are going to die because of this, right? Wonderwise, if you don't forget, is extinguishes this shit, bro. He extinguishes the flames. And where does it go? Into Wonderwise, my G. Bro, I I'm saying this like in this manner. Uh, I know it's condescending, but the, the character fucking says it, my nigga. <laughs> the, the character fucking says it, dude. So let's look at it, right? And when I uh, contain my mean trap it inside your sword, that, okay, l let me just r read it. I told you, extinguish extinguisher was created for the sole purpose of containing the flame of ryuji and jaka and when i say contain i mean trapping it inside your sword so that no flames can be produced but is that the only flame another flame was emitted by your sword already do you remember what he said was going to kill him in aizen now what does yamamoto do this motherfucker eats that shit and then oh look at this right you see Aizen right here? Perfectly fine. Let's see what a, what a dying fucking Yamamoto. A Yamamoto that should be dead, literally on the floor does. Uses a keto. Look at this motherfucker. Damaged. Look at this motherfucker. Right here. Look at this motherfucker. Look at him. Yamamoto's supposed to be dead and he's on the floor, dude. Dead ass. Are we reading the same series, dude? Dead ass. It's a good argument. Come on, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> okay. I took it off. Okay. Um, that, like, Aizen would drop his... Actually, I, actually, I think the exact opposite. I think if they, like, dropped the swords and went hand-to-hand... -hand, I mean, Yamamoto, Yamamoto is stated to be physically stronger than any captain. Or have better hand than any captain. Yeah, so. he, stated, he stated to have better stats than any captain, period. Uh, in terms of, like, all the four stats. In terms of sword skill, uh, his speed, uh, his fucking hand-to-hand -hand fighting ability. Like, everything. Like, it's just higher than everyone else. Not what it says. It says he's the best at fo all four forms of soul reaper combat so he's the most skilled at it. well it's not even the most skilled me and hub literally had this fucking discussion that it's not necessarily that you're the most skilled at it just because you're the best at something you can be stronger in something and not be as skilled Yamamoto can be uh stronger in the aspect of sword skill but not as skilled as fucking unahana or um I'm, I'm probably phrasing that a bit weird, uh, but yeah, those two don't have to go together. Which we actually know they don't go together because Soyphone ha is the fastest in the Soul Society in uh, Muramasa's arc, but Yamamoto is faster. Soyphone's more skilled, but Yamamoto is better. Not better, but faster. So it doesn't matter. But still, those two don't correlate. That argument doesn't mean that. Crack statement. Even a half power, he's stronger than all of them. Um, all that for Eisen to, to get <laughs> I don't. I don't think Eisen wins like that. I'm real, but but it's a good argument. Is Gene better? Is Gene stronger than base Eisen? No. But he would kill him if he hit him with Bankai. Gene is really strong though. Yeah, Gene's actually strong, but um, yeah, Gene's poison would kill Eisen, but Eisen would beat him in a normal fight. That's fine. Yuha didn't think Yamamoto was worth fighting. Uh, Yamamoto was at half power, but even then, Yuha never could damage Yamamoto to begin with. 
Yamamoto wasn't at half power. Yamamoto's stronger than he was before. Unless you think that he is weaker than Spirits Are Forever with Yukenpachi, who beat up Masashiro, who Yamamoto plus 11 other captains couldn't scratch. So unless you believe that, oh, Yamamoto's below Spirits Are Forever with Yukenpachi, uh-huh, okay, buddy. But I, I already know these niggas didn't read Spirits Are Forever with you because this nigga said Mugetsu's the strongest in the verse, but I can't even kill the dying Sion Grants. Guess we're ignoring them. the Lost Agent arc as well. Guess we're ignoring Yuha literally stating and showing our boy Ginjo, the nigga that takes full brings when he's referencing our boy getting his powers back that he used to defeat Aizen. That power, Mugetsu. Stop it. Stop it, my nigga. Come on. <laughs> Dude, as for Aizen, bro, Azashiro can literally pluck his eyes out. And torture him. Stop it. He just stole his bonkai. He can steal the whole Yoku from him as well, bro. Like, <laughs> dude. Imagine, dude. <laughs> Yo, Hyrule. Imagine an alternate world, right? Where Azashiro yeah. listened to a Zanpak tell more and just took the whole Yoku from Aizen. Bro. Like, just imagine, bro. Sucks, bro. Sucks. The nigga just steals it and it's just like, yeah, buddy, sorry. It's mine now. <laughs> imagine, bro. You watch all yeah, the captains say, you know what? <laughs> you know, just watch all the captains say, yeah, you know what? Uh, that sword we were praying for Ichigo? Yeah, we need that right now. <laughs> <laughs> you just like, that like, stat. Oh, dude. Um, there's also this, right? So, um, uh, I think I mentioned this to you, like, while I was at school earlier today. But, um... Kisuke doesn't, tr uh, it's stated in the Rhaegar that Kisuke neglects brute strength training, but if it's specifying brute strength training, to me, that would imply that he's not neglecting other forms of training. It's just this specific training is what he's neglecting. So I'm like, Kisuke is training then. And I'm like, Kisuke equal to Aizen trains for a month. Kisuke above Aizen. Yorichi relative to Aizen trains. A lot of niggas relative to her. I'm like, mm. very interesting. Very interesting, bro. No, he's going to charge in alone and get his bonkai stolen, which is exactly what happened. Aizen is so heat. Like he just knew Yamamoto was just gonna get his shit stolen. Like that's literally what's stated. Whereas if he if he if he worked with all the other captains, he wouldn't it wouldn't have been able to be stolen. What? Well, I only get his bonkai stolen. But even then, Yuha never could damage Yamamoto to begin with. He just stole his bonkai. Yuha could never damage Yamamoto to begin with. He just stole his bonkai. Seth, you're making this too easy, bro. Seth. 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 Come on. This is the nigga that you all can never damage, bro. This nigga right here, bro. This is the nigga right here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga right here. <laughs> you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bruh. This is the nigga right here that you all couldn't damage. Very, very powerful. <laughs> he just he just Bro. knew he just knew that Yamamoto was gonna charge in alone and get his bonkai stolen, which is exactly what happened. Why is it so heat? Like he just knew Yamamoto was just gonna get his shit stolen. Like that's literally what stated. Whereas if he if he if he worked with all the other captains, he wouldn't, it wouldn't have been able to be stolen. One no. Two no. Three no. Like him saying this makes me think he actually did not read. Like, actually just did not read. So 
Let's see what Yuha says, right? L let's read. Let's read a little bit. First, we'll, we'll, we'll read to Seth, bro. Read to the Seth niggas. It's not that we couldn't steal your Bankai, but who else can control your immense power besides me? That's why I ordered Roy to stand down until I arrived. So no, Yamoto wouldn't have just run in and get his Bankai stolen. Because literally none of them would steal it because none of them can control it. No. And no, just because the other captains would have gone with him, let's say Yamamoto uses Bankai, they can just steal it. <laughs> not, not how it works, buddy. Like, what? Huh? Uh, Bro, fucking Yuha went to go talk to Aizen for like two minutes. And Aizen put him on the game. <laughs> <laughs> Aizen's just heat, bro. He's just bodying like the whole series. It's crazy. Like, this shit is so funny, bro. Like, why did he do that? Don't you have to be relic? <laughs> Tip to the Bankai you steal? No. You know what's funnier about that, too, is that fucking, uh, dude, no Stern Raider could use Yamamoto's Bankai but Yuha. Yeah. Like, none of them, dude. Like, that's, that's an insane statement. Like, that's crazy. Like, that's another reason why I think Yamamoto actually stands a chance against Ichibei. So here's the thing, right? Don't you have to be relative to the Bankai to steal it? No. What does Yuha say though? What does Yuha say right here? If you want to take half of the statement and not the other, then you can't you can't use the reasoning, dude. You you just can't. You you can't use it like that, bro. Either you scale or you don't. Because a lot of people think he's just zero division level, but it's like because uh here's the thing right this literally tells us you can steal a bond guy but if you're not strong enough you can't control it that's literally what this tells us so what does it matter if your bond guy gets stolen if they can't use it you hawk can use it so he scales to him the fuck come on dude stop it didn't like the nerf zero division i mean nerf sterner like body them <laughs> like you know i don't know, know but bro each base like was like beating the fuck out of you bro I know what you mean, but like, it, the argument is just that Yamamoto would also be like up there on that level. You know what I mean? It would be like, Yamamoto is more like no, on yeah, base level than like on the zero division level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, let's fast forward and let's get the statement about the zero division. Why don't we? So if these guys were above the Gote 13 and Yama is closer to Ichibe than to these guys, then Ichibe is stronger than Yamamoto. Pretty simple. Like, huh? Question mark, huh? Confusion, huh? Fine, I was just saying that Ichi, like a uh, fucking... Shit, I lost my train of thought so hard. Yamamoto did beat Yuha and Almighty. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. No, he did not. Yeah, I'm saying, like, yo, that nigga containing Yamamoto's Bankai, and then, like, him being on the same level as Ichibei is, like, kind of bullshit. Because I think Ichibei was just beating that nigga up. Yeah, but Yamamoto did actually fight Yuha with the Almighty. And Yuha has never stated... No, he did not. ...it's stronger or weaker since a thousand years ago. He just, if anything, Yuha just regains the power he had. No. Yuha would be stronger... Because he directly scales above a nigga that killed him. By multiple tears. My guy. Unless you think Boshin beats the fuck out of you, ha. Huh? Unless you think Azashiro beats the fuck out of you, ha. Huh? Like, what are we talking here? And then the second he gets the Almighty, he just like instant fucking kills. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Did he have gotten stronger when he did the Ashwalan? No. Those are powers he already like gave away or something. Yeah, but they come back to him. No, like, he, he didn't give away those powers, like, a thousand years ago or something. Also, I, I don't even remember, like, the time frame of the Ashvalen in the Ichibe fight. I don't really remember the... I don't think he uses the Ashvalen versus uh, Ichibe. Does he? I don't know. No, no, no. He does it before, but that doesn't matter. No, I'm talking about... You said he never got stronger, like, over the thousand years. I was saying, like, in those thousand years... Oh, oh, it's just... Swallowing. It's just because it's stated that he just only... He just only regains his power or whatever, rather than, like, he's been training or something. He regains his power as well as the Almighty. So let's say Goku is uh, 
Goku loses the ability to use Super Saiyan. Right? And then he starts training. And now he can beat beat up his Super Saiyan form in base. And then it's saying like, oh, bro, he's regaining some of his power. So he, now he's getting stronger. Like throughout a fight, right? And then he's able to unlock Super Saiyan again. Would you then say, even though this character is beating up a nigga that is stronger than Super Saiyan, or as strong as Super Saiyan, and not nah, nigga, like he he just nerfed himself, because that's the basic argument you're presenting here, dude. What? Yeah. I swear we stated. Yeah, if anything, if anything, he used stronger. the if anything he used the Archvalen to power up other Stern Raider rather than himself. Yes, more probably a point. Yeah, he used the Archvalen to give powers to his dead guard, not himself. If anything. He's dead guard. But I'm yeah. pretty sure he still gets stronger from that. Unless, like, he, unless you're saying he got weaker, he no, 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 no. out to more Stern Raider? I mean, like, that's possible. Like, he just gives out his power and shit, but all I'm saying is the statement is... Not how that works. He's gonna regain his powers, implying that's, like, the main thing. You know what I mean? I don't think... And that statement is referencing the Almighty, but okay. Dude, this... Like, is Seth trying to say that, like, you all just stayed stagnant? Yeah. The whole world out, though. Yes, he that's is. so bad, though. Okay, yeah, but I, but I, like, um, like, I think I heard him say that, you, like, um, what's it called again? That Yamamoto, uh, beat U-Haul with the Almighty 1,000 years ago. Mm, yeah, he's trying to say that. He's trying, he's, he's basically trying to say without saying that Yamamoto should be able to one-shot Ichibe. Because he one shot Yu Ha with the Almighty, and Yu Ha with the Almighty one shot Ichibe, which is blatantly incorrect. But... That's so bad. Because not only that, but like, but like, if you go especially with the whole Kubo statement, what like what he said about like uh, Ichigo's like uh, Zanpakuto is covered by Ichibe's ink. That just fucking contradicts it as well. Literally, like, Yikes. like it's literally just so bad that. Dead ass, the past is fucking dog shit. Like, they'll bring characters back from the past, but these characters aren't the same level that they were in the past. It's it's not how it works. Yeah, I th I think people forget that like the series escalates in severity. Like Dude, at the start of the um, Aron card, Toshiro is literally like, if, if Aizen has 10 of these, a spot, uh, even 10 of these Aron cards, I don't even think he said a spot. If Aron, if Aizen has 10 of these, and they weren't even a spot. He, he said 10 Vasta Lorda. Vasta Lorda, yeah. The Soul Society's finished. So, the combined strength of all 12 captains would be inferior to 10 Vasta Lorde. Fucking insane. Which, obviously, you know, as well, uh, uh, I always, the Kenpachi that comes before Azashiro, I'm blanking on his name at the moment, but he literally is like, dude, uh, is it a Kurushiki or some shit like that? Kurusakura. No. Kur okay. no, 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 no. I think that's no. I. It might be Kurushiki. I think it's it's probably Kurushiki. I think, I think I was trying yeah. to think of Urizakoro, who is uh Azashiro Zanpakuto. But I think it's Kurushiki. You might be right. It, that yeah, it's Kurushiki. Yeah, it's Kurushiki. So uh, Kurushiki is literally like in a few hundred years, dude. We might have to fucking retire, dude. Can pot like. Kurashiki, who's the Kenpachi at the time, who scales above Yamamoto because he's literally said to be the strongest. Azashiro literally saying it to Kenpachi is the title of the strongest. And it's literally just like, huh, well, fuck it, you know, dude. You know, fucking these niggas are trash, apparently, bro. Two to three hundred, uh, a few hundred years, by the way, is in the time frame that the series starts. Which, funnily enough, Ichigo negs Ichibe's hacks. Oh, shit. Looks like we're all up in this zero squad fucking tier. Ain't that crazy. That's tough. That's pretty tough. But, um, fuck, what was I thinking before? Um, I was trying to think of something else for Kurashiki.
and it's the Kenpachi. Yeah, yeah. Because um, if you do remember also, Unohana in the past was looking for somebody to fight. It's literally like, bro, <laughs> the Kenpachi is considered to be the strongest soul reaper. It said that multiple times. It's not the case, um, at least uh, for the latter half, because Kenpachi is weaker than Yamamoto. But for a lot of, I, I can't even say a lot of the series, for parts of the series in the past, the Kenpachi title has meant that. Until it was replaced by uh, Central 46 with the um, with the uh, imprisonment of Azashiro. It's always just been like that. So, yeah. I don't think regaining in the context that they use it with Yuha means, like, uh, get back. What? Yeah. That's exactly what regain means, though. No, no. Let me, let me fucking elaborate. Like, I don't think if, because you know when Yuha gets shit back from people, he gets stronger. Yeah, well, he gets like their he gets like their experiences, or whatever. Their ex experiences? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever, but... Does does you all get their like actual powers, or does he just like get their experiences? He gets their powers. That's weird. No, he, he definitely. That's not weird. It literally says that. He gets actually stronger as well, because like his whole thing is when he was a baby, he had virtually no senses, and people would touch him, die. Yeah, he gets all their experiences yeah. and whatever, right? No, not just experiences. If I'm blind and I get the experience that I was, I had sight. Then I had sight in the past, bro. I had experience of having sight. I don't now gain sight. Not how it works. And then he's like able to do the shit on his own. So, so like, my only problem then is that, okay. So it's implied. Where'd you find this? Correct me if I'm wrong. Say, Ginkaku and Ginkaku fucking well, you're definitely fucking wrong. What the fuck? <laughs> but uh, yeah, the only thing that's weird is isn't it stated Yuha was asleep the entire time, chat? The entire time? No. This nigga. I don't know how. How annoyed I can be at Sev for literally just not knowing shit. Because it's literally that he's uninformed, dude. But I'm also like, dude, you could you read the series yourself. So I'm like, I don't know how much of a, of, of a, of a pass I can give you if you're talking about the series. Like, if I don't know something about a series, I'll say I don't know. I don't know shit. Or... Okay, let's say it right here. The confined Quincy King regains his pulse after 900 years, his mind after 90 years, his strength after 9 years. So, he's literally been active for 90 years. 90 years. Or 98 for the context is of his invasion. 98 years. So he has 98 years to train. Am I on crack? Was he asleep the entire no, that time? No, can't be stated. Like, he, like, he, like, reawakened? I swear if you had, like, some reawakening, like, there was something, like, wake-up thing. I thought they were, like, I thought it was just that he was in the shadows of the Soul Society that whole time. There's something about him, like, reawakening. Why don't these guys just go back to the fucking manga and just open it up? Who knows, dude? Like it, like, like I feel like it would be a lot more simple that way. There's yes. like more steps. No, like, I, I actually have the uh, yeah, bro. They're just lazy. Like, uh, <laughs> like for example, one time there was there were mentioning, oh, you sound like a uh, hub You're six, right? No, uh, you should compare the voices, right? Nah, I'm too lazy. That, that's totally me too. That could be a valid reason, bro. The niggas are lazy. <laughs> not their verse. Yeah. They're not interested. But it's an actual dilemma because it really annoys me that he's saying this shit. But I'm also like, well, you have actual trash scalers that have bad bleach takes in your circle. So I'm like, um, I don't know how mad I can be at you because you're literally this nigga's literally hearing arguments from Bubbles and Clyde, my dude. Bubbles and fucking Clyde. I I I. <laughs> Bubbles is fucking retarded. You're nine of that. He gains that. I think one of them's him waking up. Uh, we already know his eyes were closed versus Ichibe. I already know that. That's not. <laughs> that's not it's, how it. Bro, bro it's like it, you. You wouldn't know what's funny. What? 
Like, like even like a, like if they read the freaking Ichibei versus U Haul fight, they would actually learn that like um that that uh U Haul still has some kind of uh precog. Yeah, he literally has like part of his powers still. Yeah, like he's still able to see like into the future as well. Yeah, and apparently like he, by what he says, he can see far into the future. Mm-hmm. Cause like, cause like he knew already that Ichibu was about to die, like in the same, in like uh, like in those three steps, and that's it. Yeah, and it happened. He literally like, knew how Ichibu it, would die. Dude. These, like the way they're talking is like if they, like if they read it, if they read Bleach, like the Thousand Year Blood War manga, like uh, like the chapters, and then after mm-hmm. that they haven't read it like in two to three years. That legitimately might be the case. Yeah, it's either that or. Uh, they pulled a noodles, and is like uh, uh, I only read Bleach for the context of what I need for scans. Might be that as well. So, That's the nigga might have not even read it. Yeah. Like, who knows? Maybe he actually did, but he could have also just be pulling a noodles, which is why he's saying shit like this. So, pick your poison on them the whole time. Uh, the second he awakened them, he one shot at Ichibei. Bro, that's not, oh, you mean the you mean the Almighty Eye? Like, he wakes up after nine hundred years. If anyone has the exact like number, that'd be useful. Damn, sorry. Because because both because both because both because both because both because both because because both 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 It, it, no, 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 it's eight years. It's eight years that he has his mind. My bad, my bad. My bad. It's after he gets his intellect after. After 900 years of being sealed, he would regain his pulse. Okay, so he was dead for 900 years. After another 90, he would regain his intellect. Okay, so for 990 years, he was a fucking vegetable. <laughs> and after nine more years, he would absorb the power. Okay, so he didn't. Okay, so he absorbed the power of every impure Quincy to make their abilities his own and then started the war. So who are all the impure Quincy and how strong are they? Is kind of the, the next question. Oh, uh, I don't know how you want to take this, but I'm pretty sure... Yamamoto tells the Roid Lloyd clone Yuha that he's like the same. He hasn't changed. He's gotten stronger. And then like the normal Yuha is stronger than that one. Oh, Yamamoto tells Roid Lloyd that he thinks Yuha is the same. Yeah, yeah. He's telling Roid Lloyd who is Yuha that he's like the same. Can you show me the, the statement? Yeah. Even that potentially was weird because the Yuha had Almighty when he fought him, right? Nope. I have no fucking clue. Did... Nope, Seth. Bankai's nope. rookie surpassed Yamamoto. Uh, what fucking show? Probably not. As weird as that sounds. But maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Seth, bro, Seth. I don't I don't know how mad I can be about this. Cause it's literally just you don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I, I understand how Hub feels when niggas are talking about fate and just saying shit, right? I truly do understand what this nigga's what this nigga feels, bro. I truly do understand. <sighs> Bruh. Any comments, friends? Look, he... I know... I know Seth has in him to improve. I know it. He has done it before. If he is with the right people, because... It's like... Like three against uh one, like that. Um, uh, Eden's I think and bubbles versus hub. Yeah, and hub has a very passive way of articulating himself. Uh, for takes, because he, but he because he goes under the idea that everything is arguable. So uh, the way he describes things is very passive. I guess. Or uh, how other people describe it, uh, understating, under or overstating something based off of how he feels about the subject. What about you, yeah. Hybrid? What did you think about the video? I thought it was straight ass, bro. I'm not gonna lie. You right. We're ending this video off that. <laughs>